Hi, everybody, and welcome back. Today, uh, we're going to be working on how you can UV unwrap things like a pro. Um, I am no pro at this, but uh, I do know how to actually go about UV unwrapping something if you want to, you know, put your own texture on it or draw a texture out on it. So let's get into it. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tab into edit mode so uh, that we can see all my nice edges here. I'm going to make sure I have the edge selector selected up in the corner here. So that way we can go around and select edges. Selecting edges is really easy. You can just uh, alt click on an edge to select it or control alt click to select uh, in the other direction. And if you press shift, then you can uh, select more and more edges. Basically, what we're going to do here, though, is we're going to separate these out so that we have a number of faces we can unwrap here. So um, honestly, I go about this by doing the main corners here. So I'm going to select the top and I'm going to select the bottom. And I'm going to uh, I'm going to right click and I'm going to go down to where it says mark seam and we're going to mark a seam so that way it knows, OK, this is where to divide out the UV. So you'll see if I unwrap, it's uh, been unwrapped from the seams. So we have like the top, bottom, and then the main. Um, however, I'm also going to select all the way down one side here um, by control clicking on one end and then uh, clicking to the other. And I'm going to mark that as a seam too. So if we you unwrap, now you'll see that this can is in a nice uh, tube, basically. And let's see. I am going to, because this is a can and we don't really have to worry too much about the top and bottom because that's just silver, we can basically leave these as the circles that they are, but you can add as many edges as needed. I think for this, though, I'm going to go through and select all these. And I'm going to try and do a cylinder projection because I think seeing this is a cylinder, cylinder projection. Yeah, and that works perfectly. OK. Um, and I'm going to select everything again. And we'll take this, let's put this up here, and we'll just put these in a nice, uh, nice location so that they look good. I'm just going to test that this is working. So I'm going to go to rendered view, um, preferably in cycles, and I'm going to add in a new material, just call this can, uh, turn up the metallic. And I'm just going to add in a random texture and we can just see what this is looking like. So as you can see, this is unwrapped out now. Uh, one little issue that I'm seeing is um, when we cylinder projected this, the uh, can itself got a little like stretched in kind of a disgusting manner. So I was going to press S Y and kind of cheat this by just uh, dragging this up a little bit until it looks about right. There's probably a way to uh, project this better, but I uh, like how straight and perfect this is. So I'm just going to keep it like that for now. So um, I'm going to reline these up and you just want to make sure that uh, none of this geometry is intersecting anything else because that will mess everything up. So uh, like that. Yeah, it looks good. OK, um, I'm going to get rid of this texture for now and I'm just going to go back to the UV editor and select everything. And I'm going to uh, press new here up at the top, new, call this can texture. And I'll make the color be white. And you can make this value be as big as you want. Uh, this is a tutorial, so I'm just going to leave it pretty small. But yeah, you probably want to bump it up to a larger size. I'm going to press OK. So now these are unwrapped over an actual um, like uh, 
an actual background texture. Um, I'm going to port this over into Procreate so that I can actually draw on any textures and stuff that I want there. So I'm going to go to UV and I'm going to do export UV layout and uh, I'll just call it can or something. It doesn't really matter. Make sure you know where you're saving it. Uh, export that UV layout and um, then I'm just going to email it to myself so I can open it in Procreate. I'm going to add in a new layer so we can draw on top of what we have already there. And uh, I figured for this kind of thing, I'd go for kind of the classic looking, uh, I don't know, Coca-Cola sort of uh, layout. I'm going to add in a nice red bar over our workspace here. And I'm actually going to make sure that the layer we're working on is um, slightly opaque so we can see through to see what we're doing. At that point, you can easily add in some text and All right, and because this is soda, let's make this to the side because of course, and uh, we could even add some little cartoonish eyes on here. Oh. Okay, and uh, for this top and bottom, basically uh, here, we want to just fill that to be some sort of uh, probably a light, a light gray. It's made of metal. We don't want it to be too white. Yeah, I like that. Cool. Uh, I'm going to pronounce this done. Uh, <laughs> also, I mean, you'd want to fill out in here with stuff too. Uh, and fill out every anything you want and everything you want. Again, this is free tutorial, so I don't really care, but I'm going to share this back to myself now, and then we can hop back on in Blender. I am back here in Blender, and uh, I'm going to just throw in our new artwork. And as you can see, this is all lined up to where we projected it. So that's awesome. You can just plug this in here. <laughs> Looks great, like a two-year-old did it. But we accomplished what we we're trying to do, which is uh, to go through and show how uh, unwrapping works and uh, kind of how to do it. This was very simple, but uh, it works. It works well, and... Um, yeah, I hope this is helpful to some people and you can obviously change all the settings if you want. You can go and you can add in um, some smudges and stuff to uh, further add realism to the fact that this is supposed to be made of metal. Uh, that might be a little bit extreme, but something like that. Okay, and that is how uh, you'd go about unwrapping something if you want to bring it into another software to add uh, textures to it. That is how I've done uh, stuff in the past, like trains and stuff like that. And yeah, it's just a little introduction to the big, big world of unwrapping. And uh, unwrapping can go as far as you want it to go. Uh, you can do as much with it as you want. This was a pretty lazy kind of way to unwrap without like a ton of like uh, nuance and detail and stuff. But, you know, again, you can take it as far as you want to go and uh, really, really add in stuff like uh, little uh, scuffs and stuff around the edges, like maybe where the silver here meets the red and stuff like that. It's completely all up to you and how far you want to go of it. But yeah, this was a little introduction I hope was helpful, and I'll catch you in the next one, if I could talk. <laughs> All right, see ya.